it's you! <laughs> How you doing? Welcome back to the show. I'm just here at the library. Hey, you guys! Be quiet! We're in a library! You gotta be quiet, okay? Hey, everybody! <laughs> As I thought I'd stop by the library and pick up a book. I gotta pick up something to read. Do you have any books you like to read? What's your favorite book? I don't know if I have a favorite book. I've had some books that I read that are I really like. Well, you know what? It's weird. I don't have any favorite books as a grown-up. None of the books I ever read. And I went to college for reading books. I majored in literature. Oh, I'm an English major. English literature. Oh, I love to read the books. You know, none of the books I've read in college or on my own since I grew up. Do I care about it? I don't have a favorite book. It's like, oh, I sure love that one book I read in 2001, you know. Um, but I do have favorite books from when I was a little girl. The only favorite books I have are books I read probably before I could even read very well. Books like where the Wild Things Are. That was one of my favorite books. Where the Wild Things Are. With Max, and he's in his wolf suit, and he goes to a land of wild things, and they're basically just monsters. But they're like cute monsters. They're like teddy bear monsters. Where the Wild Things Are. And then there was Corduroy, about a little teddy bear. This little girl goes shopping and she picks up, she wants to buy a little teddy bear, but he's missing a button. And he goes looking for his missing button. And his name is Corduroy. That's a favorite book. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. Any book by Winnie, with Winnie the Pooh. I kind of have like fond memories of Dr. Seuss, you know. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. But, you know, the other day I was reading, uh, what was it? Fox and Socks. Fox and Socks and Box and Cox and Bluck, 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 you know. And by the time I was done reading that stupid book, my throat was sore. And I'm kind of like, Dr. Seuss, did you ever read your own books out loud? It's too much. <laughs> you know, calm down, it's too long. But Dr. Seuss books are kind of good. But then when I grew up and I started reading like chapter books and that, I don't know. I really liked, um, the Outsiders, <laughs> you know, The Outsiders, really anything with Emilio Estevez, no, <laughs> but I read The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton when I was a little girl, when I was probably a seventh grader. I, I read all the S.E. Hinton books, and they were okay, I don't know. I guess probably the best book ever written, speaking as not only an English major, but as a librarian, has probably been um, Paul Stanley's autobiography, Face the Music. Face the Music. That's probably the best book ever written. I mean, move over Shakespeare, nobody cares. Paul Stanley, Face the Music. <laughs> Not to be outshadowed by his follow-up hit, um, what was it called? Backstage Passes. Backstage Passes. And Paul Sally, well, you can do it all. Anyway, what am I going to read? So you can read anything in the library. You can, you can even check out a book on Ojibwe language. 
Today is a Chipotle word of the day. Library or a reading house. This is what it means in the Chipotle. Again, das so wig amig. Again, das so. Again, das so means comes from here she reads, reading. Again, das so. And a wig amig. Wigamig, I guess. Wigamig. You know, it kind of sounds like wigwam. That's like a house. A wigwam, wigwam, a lodge. This is the reading lodge. The, the, the reading house. Again, the zoo, wigamig. Again, the zoo, wigamig. Or a library. And this has been your Ojibwe word of the day. My name is Natasha, and I will see you again. Gigawaba bin, miwa. Oh, what do I want to read? <laughs> no. Hey, be quiet! We're in a library. I'm trying to read.